In the last video I discussed the idea of combining the player and monster classes into a single class uh, which I called actor. So here's the UML for, for when I've done that. Uh, in the game I have a player which is an actor and a monster which is an actor and similarly the GUI has those same two references to the current player and the monster or the, rather the player and the current monster. So here's the single class that can represent any um, uh, any actor in the game and you can see I've got maximum HP, current HP and potions. I've added a few more sort of personal attributes, the damage, the amount of damage that a successful strike will um, will cause, the speed which I think might be sort of the uh, the likelihood that the uh, a particular strike is successful. So if this uh, if the speed was 90 then an actor is 90 percent likely 90 percent of the time the successful the attack will be successful, and then luck would be, um, uh, you know, the higher that number, the more likely the actor is to have that sort of critical strike or do more than the typical amount of damage. Um, or maybe also you could use that for some kind of dodging thing, something like that. Anyway, then the constructor is a little more complicated. I've got five ints in a row, and it's basically uh, the maximum HP, the potions, and these three personal attributes down here. Those are the five integers that are passed in, and then all of those methods that we had talked about before. So I'm going to show you what that's like to start coding that. Here I've already begun my GUI in my game, but I don't actually need those files to do this. I'm going to go create a new Java class in the package, and I'm going to call it actor and it's in the arena game package and let's get that going here's the package and public class actor that's all there is to it so far so these things I want to have in my class so let me just I've copied them over here into a notepad document uh, let me get these uh, fields for the class first so that goes in the class right here and uh, I just have to sort of reorganize this so it matches Java syntax. Uh, so there's an int max HP, there's an int current HP, I'm putting semicolons after these, there's an int for potions, uh, there's an int for the amount of damage that the actor would do on a successful strike, speed, and luck. There we go. And uh, you'll notice that the formatting's all off. That's fine. I'm going to go to source and format and it's it all nice for me. Those are the fields. And then I'm going to start with the methods. Let me go back over here. So this first method is the constructor. Let's get that one. So public actor and then a bunch of ints. So I'm going to, it's tricky here now you, to decide what the best uh, variable names are. You can just reuse the ones that are up here. I'm going to show you that. Uh, but I'm going to show you another one as well. Uh, let's say I don't need current HP, so um, maybe I'll call it starting potions and uh, you know starting damage. I'm going to just put all these starting words in here. This is a makes the coding a little clearer, but it's like I say, it's not strictly necessary. Starting luck and sort of I'm implying there that there is going to be a way in the game to improve those attributes. So um, the easy ones, I'm going, to, I'm going to skip the max HP for a second. Let's do uh, potions equals starting potions. So this just sticks whatever value the, the um, program has passed in to create this actor uh, and it puts it into the field that, uh, that every object will have. So let's see what else we have. Damage equals starting damage. I have to spell things correctly though. Uh, speed equals starting speed and luck equals starting luck. Now what about this max HP thing? Because you can't just go max HP equals match max HP. That's, you know, of course one thing equals the other. We're not really using these two values separately. And so what these are actually doing these are referencing the local, the most local uh, variable, and in this case that's the parameter. When the parameter's name has the same name as a field in the class, whenever you reference that name it actually refers to the local parameter. And so if you want to talk about the actual uh, field in the class you have to say this dot max HP. 
it's like, hey, I'm actually talking about the max HP. You can see it's green there now. The max HP that belongs to uh, to this object. And so better to do something like starting max HP. And uh, just to be 100% clear for yourself as the programmer. And then you don't need the this dot in front of it anymore. Okay, so we have all of our fields. Um, created and we have them all assigned when the um, when each object is created. Now we have a few more uh, methods to create. I'm going to just paste them in here. I oops, paste them in like that. I hit control shift V which tries to format at the same time. So as I say I'm just going to sort of recreate these public int get max HP so this is going to return an integer value. This would be the kind of thing that the GUI or the game might call to find out about the player or the monster's maximum HP. And this one's very simple, return max HP. Take that value that in the field and send it back to the program that's asking for it. And uh, I've got some extra spaces there. Public int get current HP same thing return uh, and I have to go up here current HP I just realized I forgot one thing we're going to come back to it in a minute okay that one's done and I'm actually going to just sort of reuse some of my stuff here let me paste that instead of get current HP it'll be get potions and return potions so I'll say how many potions the actor has Okay, and then I got some some other stuff we're going to get back to. The thing I for realized I just realized I forgot is this current HP value. We didn't set it, and so it starts off as zero. Probably what I want to do is start the player or the monster at the maximum HP. Uh, did I get that right? There we go. And so um, even though that's not a, a value that was passed in current HP is not a value that's part of the constructor I know that I want to start every actor at full health and so I need to set that field otherwise it starts at zero just like all int values do okay we got a couple more here to do these ones are a little different these ones are void because they don't return a value set max HP it takes an int though so new max is it maybe a good way to call to, to to name that and we're going to use this very same line that we used up here max HP equals so max HP equals new max and so that's going to um, replace the original maximum with a new value for example if the user if the player levels up public void set current HP and I'm not sure we're going to actually use this but uh, new current and that's going to be current HP equals new current. Public void decrease HP, which takes an integer value. And so this is uh, the change, how much we want to change it by. And current HP equals current HP minus the change. Now there is a small problem here and that is if the decrease drops the HP below zero we really don't want to uh, leave a negative hit point value. So I'm going to put a little if statement in here. If the current HP is less than zero, if it's a negative value, then I want to uh, change it so that it is exactly zero. Current HP equals zero. So if it ends up being minus five, we just change it to zero and we call that good. And that's the end of, uh, of decrease HP. And we're gonna have something similar to do for increase HP, public void increase HP int change. And this time we're gonna say current HP, shall I use the this other operator, plus equals. So take the current value and add to it the change or I could have said current HP equals current HP plus change. And now, same thing, I need another if. If current HP is, well, not less than zero, but greater than max 
HP. So let's say we use a potion, we had 90 life, and we got a potion uh, that gave us 20 more, and our maximum is only 100. We can't be at 110. So we just say, well, set the current HP to be equal to the maximum HP. Take the value from max and stick it in current. Hey, look, we've got our, our player our actor class pretty well done now. We have a bunch of ways that we're storing information. We have a whole bunch of methods that both the GUI and the game can use to manipulate this um, actor and it works for both the um, uh, the player and the monster versions of this. The only thing we have left to do now is deal with um, these other components, these other attributes for the actor. And we'll leave that for another time, but the, in those cases we're going to have some other um, methods. For example, uh, maybe there'll be a method where uh, the game asks, can is there is the player going to hit this time? And so there's some randomness that happens and the uh, actor decides whether or not the attack is successful. Or maybe the game says that on its own and all the actor class or object has to do is say what the damage speed and luck are. And so we'll have some get and set methods for those um, attributes as well. So that's how we create our actor class and use it as part of our uh, unified uh, modeling languages description of it here. And uh, let's continue to develop this as a group. Uh, I'm pretty happy with where we're going with this and I think there's lots of potential here. Thanks.